Hey, what's up guys? My name is Anand and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about LinkedIn lead generation ads. I'll be showing you how to set up LinkedIn lead generation ads, best practices, and really going through the step-by-step -step approach of setting up a campaign on LinkedIn. So let's get started. The first thing that you want to do is go to ads.linkedin.com and choose your account and then choose your group. And then once you do that, you will get to see an option called as create campaign. So let's go ahead and do that. Click on create campaign. Okay, now you need to name your campaign. Um, it can be something like LinkedIn. Legion, <laughs> sorry, Legion, all right. Um, and then I, I typically like to also um, add more details like whether it's for product or whether it's for inquiry or whether it's for um, down, downloadables, you know. So uh, it's the best practice to mention your marketing objective within the name of the campaign. So in this case, I'm just going to say, um, I'm interested in um, news that will sign up. Right, that's my marketing objective. So I've mentioned it over here. Okay, the next thing is choose the default campaign group or if you have a different campaign group, you can choose that. Okay, now this is where you will select your marketing objective. So in this case, LinkedIn has broken down the overall marketing objective into three categories, awareness, consideration, and conversion. So conversion is like the bottom of the funnel kind of objective where you either want to generate leads or you want a website conversion or job applicants. Well, that's because it's a professional network. But in this case, we are interested in lead generation. So let's go ahead and select that. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to pick the audience. Now this is very important because um, this is where LinkedIn will try to reach your audience and target your ad. So the more effective your configuration is in this section, the more the chances are um, in terms of getting leads. So I wanna target all the people in the United States and UK. And my objective here is to only target people who are in the marketing industry and who are decision makers. So this is a hypothetical situation. Well, it's actually true for me, but let's just go with that example. I wanna target all the people who are in the marketing industry and who are decision makers. That's my target audience. And I just wanna build my relationship with them. Um, and I wanna generate leads. I wanna get newsletter signups uh, so that I can communicate with them and be more helpful. You know, That's the um, campaign over here. So let's see how to do that. So the first thing I want, I want to do is I want to choose the location. So these are the two countries I want to target. And then I will select narrow audience further. Because if I just select the, these two countries, look at this. It's like, I don't know, 20 million or, or yeah, 20 million or something like that. That's too big. And I don't want to have such a broad audience. So what I will do is I select the location and then I will select narrow audience further. Now. Over here, you have two options. You can either narrow the audience based on you know, a retargeting list. And I have separate tutorial on this, um, on retargeting ads and everything. Uh, but basically, you, I, I wanna narrow the audience based on their attributes. And in this case, I want to choose only decision makers. Uh, but I, I would like to go through a few other options. So let's say you, you wanna target like people from specific companies. You can even do that, you know, so you can choose company and then you can say company names. Um, again, you have company industries over here. So that's definitely an option. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose audience attributes and I'm gonna say marketing, yeah. right? Um, and then my job titles will be like marketing director, um, yeah, strategic marketing manager, VP, Group marketing manager, vice president of growth marketing. So as you can see, I am making sure that I'm selecting 
um, only the people who are at like you know managerial or director or VP level positions uh, to make sure that um, they are the decision makers. So I'm basically what I'm, I've done to repeat. I've selected the location and then I've selected audience based on their job title. You can be even more specific. Uh, you can say you you can again choose narrow and then say you can audience attribute and then you can say job experience and um, you can choose years of experience and then you can say they need to have a minimum of five five years of experience so this makes sure that they are from that country they have these job titles and they have at least five years of experience so the point here is you can go as narrow as possible, but anything below 10,000, uh, you know, I don't recommend doing that. So again, this is a good, um, you know, breakdown or good targeting approach. Now, a good way to verify that is looking at your segment breakdown. As you can see, 94% of the audience that I have selected is from marketing. So as you can see, it's it's a perfect match, I would say, it's not going to be hundred percent match. I mean, in, in, in the worst case, I've seen like 20 percent match, but that's fine because there are so many niche markets and niche audiences that you won't be able to get a good uh, function breakdown. Um, again, you can click on you know function and then seniority. As you can see, a lot of people are in the director level. So yeah, obviously that makes sense. Those are decision makers, years of experience. Oh, wow, a lot of people have 12 plus years of experience. So this is exactly what I want. So this is a great way to, you know, refine your audience. Um, and again, 170,000 is a, is a nice, you know, target audience to select. Okay. Um, now moving on, what I'm going to do is I will then choose video ad. Um, so you can choose like any of the ad formats over here, single image, carousel image, video ad. I think these, I mean, I typically choose single image or video ad. Um, I don't choose message ad or conversation ad because it has a different purpose, right? You want to engage with them. Uh, lead generation is not the objective for that. Um, so I'm going to choose um, video ad over here. I'm going to set the daily budget as something like um, $10. Oh, yeah, sorry. My keyboard. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna choose the daily budget as ten dollars over here. All right. Mm, choose the start date as today, and then run it for like thirty days. So that's the total. And then LinkedIn is saying that on on a daily basis, um, or um, well, total clicks somewhere around like seventeen to eighty six clicks, and then these are the total leads I might get. Um, so the cost per lead is like what? Um, 20 or something like that. Um, so as you can see, LinkedIn is immediately going to tell you like what's going to be the expected results based on the configuration that you have selected. Uh, and if you, if, you, if you really have a lot of, you know, um, budget and um, if, you, if your goal is to get as many leads as possible, then yeah, feel free to increase your daily budget. And depending upon that, your total spend and your expected results will change. But keep in mind, this is not guaranteed. This is just an estimation, and that's why LinkedIn is going to give you a range. Um, okay, so that's fine. Uh, bidding strategy is maximum delivery automated. Okay, that's fine. Um, optimization goal. We want to make sure that we get as many leads as possible, so LinkedIn has automatically selected that. But there are other optimization goals that you can choose. You know, if you want to optimize your reach and ad campaign for clicks, then you can choose this. If you want to optimize your campaign for more impressions, then you can choose impressions. But our marketing objective is lead, so we will leave it as, as it is. Okay, moving on, uh, conversion tracking. Well, um, you can, uh, since this is not about driving traffic to a website and then filling out a form, we don't have to bother about this. Uh, but let's say you have selected the second option, which is conversions, then yes, absolutely, you need to configure conversion tracking. Okay, so the next thing is, I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna move on to the next step, which is creating an ad. So create an ad. I'm gonna say this is a video ad. 
all right uh basically i'm going to say supercharge your digital marketing strategy and grow your business just an intro text um obviously it needs to be much more better than this i just want to get to the point um so upload your video over here so let's see i have chosen my video um okay so this is important uh make sure that your um video requirements are in like 16 to 9 16 by 9 aspect ratio um what i have done is you know um let's see if i can do that do that very quickly um a typical video ad dimensions are 1920 by 1080 so just hold on for a second while i resize this okay so i use canva for for these purposes you know it's it's a great tool so um i definitely recommend you know using a tool like canva to do that okay all right my video is getting ready but okay great as you can see my video is ready and it's pulling up the preview fantastic now my headline is um sign up and get the latest updates on digital marketing okay and then my destination url is dot my website okay there you go now you have your basics of the ad setup done um then you click on form details and this is where you create a new form so i'm going to choose create new form the call to action is sign up um that's fine okay and i'm going to say form name is newsletter sign up language english offer is subscribe and get the latest updates um supercharge your digital strategy with the latest tips tricks and resources for your business okay and then uh it's important to provide a link to your privacy policy so i'm going to type it down over here privacy policy that's fine and then lead details so this is where you are going to choose um options um or fields for your lead gen form i typically recommend you know asking your phone number email address and country in addition to like first name and last name okay um if you want to ask quest custom questions that's fine too um but uh when it comes to like b2b lead generation that's when i recommend adding custom questions like if there is a qualifying question then you can use this option and then finally i have a message that this is a confirmation message once they submit the form so thank you for your submission and then if you want, if you have a landing page then yeah why not send them to the landing page um so i'm just going to send my traffic to the website okay thank you message which is visit company website hidden fields i don't have any hidden fields and then hit create okay so that's pretty much it guys you know it's um choosing the lead gen as your marketing objective right and then you um choose the audience which is based on experience job title company name make sure to narrow it uh, with multiple layers so that you have a you have a very targeted audience otherwise you know there's just a lot going on and then you create an ad it can be an image ad or a video ad and that's pretty much it so that's about legion guys linkedin legion ads if you have any questions let me know in the comment section and i will see you next time thank you